these been sitting in transmission for months after I metal prepped them. Look how crispy and brand new they look. Yeah, I like that metal prep. But with the metal prep, you have to let it sit and and you kind of like got to take it out in time because if you don't take it out in time, I feel like it like reverses the process and then like, I don't know how to explain it, all the black oxide or whatever just starts piling up on like a part of the bolt or something. I wish I had one to show you, but I don't, but yeah. So, you know, it's trial and error with this learning. So that's some, some bolts in here. I think these ones I'm definitely reusing. Um, but we have some bolts that I don't like how they look. So we have to figure out what bolts those are. I'm gonna drop the um, rear end to get sandblasted tomorrow. Probably pick it up Monday. Shout out to Central Mass Blasting. I've been texting them for months. I'm gonna bring it, I'm gonna bring it. And now I'm ready, so. <laughs> yeah, appreciate y'all. Um, yeah, this was a bunch of shit. I was starting to restore all the bolts, but then it was like, I don't know, so much shit going on. I hated being like having this, started forgetting what bolt was what, so I just stopped. So, yeah, but all this in here is baggy tagged. As you know, as you should know. But yeah, let me go through this part. It's the drive shaft. We're gonna get these on. Um, oh, that's what I gotta check right now. See if we have these new joints already. That's what I'll do right now. Check the old parts box. Right here. I tell you one thing, that metal trap messed me up yesterday. I don't know if you can see it, but that red right there, yeah. I was on the wild I was outside doing it. With a white beat on, because it was hot, but little splashes got on me and that shit don't that shit ain't no play play. These are like ball joints but all the all the um control arms already have ball joints so we don't need that another thing too so i had some new joints because when i did the oldsmobile i bought some but they were the wrong ones. You know, those are stoppers. Control arms. Stoppers. This is for the, um, obviously the gas tank. Um, but as you can see, I had restored the old ones so i don't know we'll see we'll see we'll see i don't know what y'all want y'all want to throw the old ones on there or keep these ones or put these ones on there we'll, we'll compare them but um yeah they ain't they cheap anyway so i just wanted to see how clean i can get those old ones that's why i did it all these little sponges are here. I appreciate everybody like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, see, look, I got everything for this car. Except for, like, I might be missing miscellaneous shit. This is... Rare. Yup, rare. Yes, sir, I need these out. Rare. Because rare suspension's going first. I have the old one still on the roof. So I can make sure... I wanted to make sure I, I had it. <laughs> so, I can throw this one out now. Put that right there. 
the red shocks. I think I have the top shock bolts. Um, yeah. And then it comes with a new bottom bolt, I believe. But to be honest, I wanted to, whichever, whatever bolts I can replace, even if they're not too bad and they're passable, got the trunk lid too thing. That's for body work though. Um, damn, what was I looking for again, dude? Okay, maybe we don't have the huge joint. I swear I got them, bro. Hold on, I ain't taking that short. Let me pause this for a second and look for these. Matter of fact, let's check up here. So much stuff. All right, let me look. I'll catch y'all back on in a minute. Still looking for the U-joints, but decided to separate some of this stuff so I can get organized. Okay, to put her back together. But before I do that, I have to see here, God. No, those ain't it. These are just fair stuff, I think. Oh, no, these actually are, um... Yeah, I think these are the right ones too. That with the front suspension stuff. And this might be the front insulator. Yes, this is for the front. put these in here because I need to remember I need these um, I'm not exactly 100% sure what they called and these were good let me see if these are the same ones though I know these ones were for I got these for the Oldsmobile but they were the wrong ones so let's see if these are the same oh nah they're not 47, I know, is the right one for the box. 47. And 33469. I don't know what these ones go to. These ones are like a little bit more beefier. Seven is the right one. These are some the ones I bought. I wasn't gonna return them. They're so cheap. This too. But um, this is this was supposed to be for the um the calipers. I got new calipers. Yeah, I think we gotta go get you joints, dudes, cause I don't see them. I don't see them. All right. So that's what I'll do. Go get some new joints. What time is it? I don't even know if the stores are open. I'll do it tomorrow. But yeah. Let me see what else I'm going to do. Catch you back on in a minute. And we back. past friday but whatever i already dropped that but it's officially done official official like i hit all the extra crevices and all of that so that's done um we painted the drive shaft 
I started metal prepping the sway bar. I wasn't really liking how it was coming out, but I'm going to get back to that tomorrow in the morning. Hardware check, that's what we're on right now. Auto parts, that's what we're on right now. And dropping off the, the rear end to get sandblasted tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm getting organized. I brought, I'm bringing some of the bolts home to get them all cleaned up looking like this. Look at these one more time. Look how clean these are, bro. They look brand new, bro. I forgot who I got that tip from, but I got it off YouTube. Let them soak in some automatic transmission fluid after the metal prep. And you'll be good to go. Got our rust mark. We're going to start attacking this header panel. I need to get those. So I need to order these. I don't I don't know where the U joints is at, so we need to get those U joints. Um what else? Yeah, we just gotta clean up this hardware. Oh yeah. And I just realized that I have the inner and outer tie rods again. So when I was riding this I had to do something on. I got these from I think eBay or whatever, but I got the AC Delco um, parts too. I think the AC Delco, but anyways. Um, but we have to possibly order this center link again because I don't know if this is stripped, but. Might be. This bolt, or I have to get a new bolt. I think it's actually the bolt, but it could be that too. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, center link. I think it's only um. Damn, how much was that center link? I forget. Somebody drop in the comments how much that center link is. Give me some um. Help me out. Is y'all ready though? Cause we about to have wheels and we about to be rolling. You feel me? And I'm about to start this body work. I'm actually excited to start this body work. I told you guys I wasn't going to start this body work until a thousand subscribers because I need to work on my own car. But I lied. As soon as he's got wheels on, we're going to start this body work. Reason being because ain't no time to waste, bro. There really ain't no time to waste. And I'm going to make some space because... A lot of this stuff is for this car right here. So it's taking up my space. All this shit is actually for this car. So once I get all this out the way, then I can bring my engine here from out of storage. Then I'll have um then I'll um have the motivation to go snag a transmission just because I know, you know, it's one step at a time. And once I do that, once this suspension is done, I'll drop the Harley mid mount video on um, budget video I wanted to kind of do that before but I don't know maybe we'll do that Monday I don't know why the why the, why the um rear ends getting sandblasted and I'm gonna take these home and I'm actually that off already so I feel like I need to prep them and get them in primer <laughs> realistically so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna prep this all get it in primer um See, the thing was, it wasn't really like, I think these fenders were pretty smooth. So I don't think, I don't, I don't mind actually just, maybe we'll, yeah, maybe we'll just get it in primer. That's what I'll do. I'll get this whole car in primer and then it's going to sit until we hit five, until we get close to 5K subscribers and then I'll shoot it. Nah, I'm lying. After I prime it, I'm, I gotta, I gotta paint this thing. We ain't even gonna play. Even if it sits in the cut until y'all run up the subscribers, I'm gonna be working on my 9C1. I gotta get that um, LQ4 in here. So as soon as all of this is moved, I can bring it in here. But yeah, that's that's it for this video. I'm about to go um, do my oil change and I'm about to do my oil change and then head home. I'm hungry. Y'all stay blessed. Oh. And I got a vlog coming up. I'm taking a trip. Shout out to that newest subscriber. I'm coming to Montana. 
He got an 87 just like this, same color, everything. Um, I'm going in, I'm getting everything off of it. And man, listen, I don't want to talk too much. We're gonna get, we're gonna book that plane ticket and we out of there. See you soon. Oh yeah, like, comment, subscribe. When these subscribers up, 5K giveaway box Chevy. This car only got 26,000 miles original. You feel me? Let's go, bro. Let's run it up.